data scientists like data in a pandas data frame but getting the pandas data frame command is a bit of a challenge well if you've encountered this problem then langchain is here to support you in this video i'll show you how you can ask questions to your pandas data frame in natural language so without wasting any further time let's kick start the video i've already made two videos on langchain and this is the third video in this video as well we'll require open ai and langchain so i'll quickly install them the installation is complete the next thing that i require is the api keys i already have the api keys and i'll load them into the environment variables so i'll quickly run the cell Now I'll go forward and I'll load a file called as data.csv which already exists in my Google Colab instance. So I'll quickly load this file into a data frame df. And here are the first 3 rows of my data frame. So this is basically a fashion related data set which contains user ID, product ID, product name, brand, category, price, rating, color size etc so you have around 10 columns in this particular data frame and you have some amount of rows as well i am too lazy to write df dot shape which is where i'll start utilizing langchain and the power that langchain gives us today as developers so i'll quickly go to the langchain section of the code now before i show you the power of pandas data frame agent we'll basically have to import it So I'll say from langchain dot llms import openai, and from langchain dot agents import create pandas data frame agent. So I'll quickly run this cell. I'll create an instance of the class create underscore pandas underscore data frame underscore agent, and I'll pass in the llm, which in our case is openai. So I'll quickly run this cell. Inside the agent, I've also passed in the data frame df. and i want to see the intermediate output steps as well which is why i've kept verbose equal to true so i have the agent up and running now i can ask questions about the data that i have in plain simple natural language the first question that i'll ask is how many rows are there in this particular data frame so i'll quickly run this so if you look at the output the verbose output here it's thinking i need to count the total number of rows the action it takes the action input is df dot shape of 0 that specifies the total number of rows in the data set the observation that langchain makes is around 1000 i know the final answer and the final answer is there are 1000 rows which is the final output that is there now if you just take a moment and understand what we have done i have just queried a data frame in plain simple natural language there is not even one word of code that i have written in this piece of input text this is how amazing pandas data frame agent is you can literally create end to end solutions on a pandas data frame agent isn't this amazing the party doesn't stop here i'll ask more complicated questions Let's go forward. The next question that I'll ask is how many entries of Adidas are present in this particular data frame? So I'll quickly run the cell. It says entering new chain and it has given me a result that there are total of 198 entries of Adidas which are present in this particular data frame. If you look closely I have not specified that Adidas exists in a brand. I have not done that. And Langchain has smartly understood that Adidas exists in a brand. It's created this particular code, and it's given the result. Just so that we are sure that this result is correct, what I'll do is I'll create a new cell. Rather than doing df of brand equal to Adidas, I'll say dot value counts. and here if you look at this result it says adidas occurs 198 times which is correct 
So the beauty of the entire solution that I'm showing you right now is there's very little information that you've given about the data frame. All you've asked is a simple question about Adidas the brand and how many entries are present for this particular brand in this particular data set. Mesmerizing. This is truly mesmerizing. I'm so enjoying the process of creating this video itself that I can't express it right now. Let's ask more questions. The next question that I'll ask is, how many Excel products of Nike as a brand, even if I don't specify this as a brand, say for example, if I say, how many Excel products of Nike are there that have a rating of more than four? So this is the query that I have. And I'll quickly run this. Here is the filtered output that you are all keen on reading. So here I've not specified that Nike is a brand. So it's filtered Nike as a brand. Rating is greater than four. Size is Excel. Isn't this super, super cool? Like, is this, is this real? Like, this is what I'm feeling right now. Wow, this is truly amazing. There are companies that are trying to create natural language to SQL and all of this exists as an open source solution. Can you imagine this? I won't stop here again, I'll ask more questions. The next question that I'll ask is, what is the cube root of the median rating that is there in this particular data frame? So just look at the actions, the thought and the final answer. So here it's calculated the median. It has the value. Now it wants to calculate the cube root of that particular value. So 2.98, the cube root is 1.43 and this is the final answer. I know what you're thinking right now. So hold that thought and I'll ask one more question so that you're kind of happy looking at the answer as well. Okay, let's go forward. So now the question that I'm asking is, give all the product names and user IDs of Adidas, which have a size of large and have a rating of more than 4.2. So this is the question that I'm asking. So here it's given all the details, basically the product names and user IDs of Adidas, which have a t-shirt size of large and have a rating of more than 4.2 are, so it's given so it says sweater is one such product which was bought by a user whose user ID is 100. Then there is a dress, user ID 95, t-shirt, user ID 20 and sweater again. So, so this is the result. What do I say? Like I am truly mesmerized and I'm sure if you watch the video at this point, you too are mesmerized. And this is what I wanted to show you in today's video. I am slowly, steadily exploring Langchain and whatever I am exploring is what I am teaching you in these form of videos as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for many such more videos on Langchain and the developments of large language models. Thank you so much for watching the video.